the first um, chapter I want to start with, give you a quick look at where we're heading, is this one. This is the uh, Rhombic Triacontahedron. Right, so to summarise, got various options on each type of model, but basically there's your trio contrahedron, your 30 rhombic, your 30 diamond shaped mothership, which contains all the platonic solids. Part. So reveal this inside. This can be put together with a little bit of practice, subsequent analysis. So we've got the icosahedron, 20 equilateral triangles, platonic solid, first platonic solid one. This could Side. and it has the pentagram drawn on each side and inside 
pentagram again. Some nice uh, connections there with the angle on each one. So there's your dodecahedron, dodeca, two and ten, twelve pentagon faces. Here it is again. And in fact, this surprised me. I had to um, stick some of them together with duct tape because when I took these apart to try and find a cube in the centre uh, this is what I've got and there's the cube that was in the centre and it's got stuck to a bit of duct tape now and, uh, and there's the cube that was in the centre But then, each side of the cube, I call it, had a roof top on it. And if I stuck a pentagon on it with that, you'll see yeah, very difficult to hold six of them all at once. So I'll put them together with duct tape, and in actual fact, it does actually fold up then. He said convincingly. Almost convincingly, are we there yet? Nearly. There we are. Oh, I think we're there now. There we are. And there's your dough decahedron. Marvellous. Oh, day before yesterday, I discovered that. This is the cube and Harry's going to tell you a few things about the cube and that's what we're going to start with. The smaller platonic solids and Harry's going to show you how they fit in to the cube. There's your cube. There's your cube. Again, I've used duct tape to keep some of these pieces together. It's quite nice because they all hinge back. So these, these are not platonic solids, but it's a shame not to make them. They do hinge back to make this shape. I call it, I call these the right angled pyramids. Right angles on three right angles, and the pyramids they're not the same, they do form part of a cube. And this one is they call this a large tetrahedron. This, um, this is a platonic solid, and Harry will show you a few things about those. So, cube, Harry. Action. The simplest platonic solid is the tetrahedron, which has four faces. One two, three, four. Here is a large one. Here is one of half the width. Action. The next solid is the octahedron. This has, has eight faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here is a large one. Here is a small one of half the width. Here are four small tetrahedra and one small octahedron. Exactly. 